placement. I am planning on doing a grocery run this morning. It's been a while since I've done a full-fledged grocery run. Kind of been making do with whatever I've had in the freezer, only buying fresh veggies pretty much for the past two weeks. But I'm gonna do some meal planning for the week, plan the dinners that I wanna cook, and make my grocery list before I head out. Please touch except wait to move your zucchini to the bag. One, eleven. So today's grocery haul is 25 and 40 cents. That's really good. Usually my grocery hauls are around $35, I'd say. But the cost usually comes with things like cooking oil, soy sauce, frozen food that I store in the freezer for months.
For dinner, I really need to finish off these roasted veggies from last week. So I'm just gonna make a stir fry with the rest of these and I think I'm going to chop up a carrot that I bought. I think I want to count a separate section or category of my weekly spending for the business expenses. As I do when I usually budget and work on my weekly expenses, I keep the business stuff in a separate category. I'll do that for this video as well so you can see more realistically what my, you know, living expense budget looks like because I assume not a lot of people are going to be buying hundreds upon hundreds of photo cards and stuff like that.
eu, 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 eu. If you remember, I was talking about buying a new mattress last week, meaning I would no longer have my full size because I am going to sell it. I put this mattress up on Facebook Marketplace and thankfully someone bought it for... Mm, they bought it and they're coming over to pick it up tonight, so I've got to dismantle it. Why does this look like a photo?
Thank you. Yes. We got the goods. We got the goods. I've been working on these for many months. I don't know how long it's been. I kind of don't want to think about that because you know what? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I've got them in my hands, finally. I just made two designs to start with because being my very first keychains, my first time doing products like this. This one is my three bear characters. And then this is my recent bear design and it has my teddy on it. Now I've never had a phone grip pop socket ever in my life before and I think it's just because I never found one that I actually wanted. <laughs> so you know, just, just me making my own. The classic on Studio Bear. And then we've got this bear. These are actually like the third iterations of them though because there were a few different samples manufactured and I didn't like how they turned out. We had to go back and readjust the colors, the quality, the sizes. That's why it's taken so long. But now that they're finally here, relieved and also proud of it. I even designed the backing cards for them. Although these came out a little paler than I had wanted, but I'm not gonna be picky about it now.
I am going to grab dinner and go bowling with some friends tonight. So this is the fit. I'm I'm crouching. That's not a very good OOT. But I haven't gone bowling in I want to say four years. I high key suck and use two hands, squat, throw it through my legs. But you don't have to be good at something to have fun. So my total amount of spending for my personal stuff and like last night, which was actually nearly half of it, the total comes out to be exactly $100.71. The business expenses was $218.08. About 200 of that were the freebies that I ordered that first day. So in total this week, I've spent $318.79. I feel like this is pretty normal amount. I mean, obviously not every week I'm ordering a bunch of freebies. In some weeks here or there, I might be going out more than others. And then like last week, I bought a mattress and I bought a bed frame. Um, but those types of things are one-time expenses really. And that's kind of what I save my money for. <laughs> I think I'm very good at managing a food budget, which tends to be where a lot of people spend money. I eat at home every day and I'm pretty good at making meals out of very little ingredients. Freeze things, I ration things, I have a giant several pound bag of rice in the cupboard that gets me through the entire year. So I feel like this is 
an accurate representation of what I spend in a week. I'm also just 22 and I'm learning how to budget for myself, how to run my business. I'm not here to give any advice, this is purely just my experience, what I actually do, and there's a lot to learn. Money in the adult world is very scary. <laughs> I'm almost done finishing this video up. I just have to edit these few clips and then I will be done. But I was just thinking how I think I'm out of burnout. Maybe since the beginning of summer, I've been in a stage of burnout creatively. And this is something that comes and goes. I've experienced burnout several times. And I feel like you can definitely see it or maybe in my mood in the last few vlogs that it was really hitting me. But this week, because I did want to include Saturday in the vlog, which is usually my upload date, I decided to take it a little easier and slowly edit at my own pace this week. And I really like how it turned out. Um, <laughs> also not editing all at once, which is what I usually do at the end of the week. It's been very relaxing and it makes me feel a lot less stressed. I'm, I'm a high stressed individual, that's my nature. Something I try to work on or I say I try to work on but don't really work on. But this week has been a good week. See you in the next vlog. Take care, friend.